Now, the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant is at the center of the Ukraine conflict at this point in the war as the world continues to worry over a possible nuclear disaster. Reports have now suggested that a detailed plan has been drawn up by Russia to disconnect Europe's largest nuclear plant from Ukraine's grid. Citing concerns, the head of Ukraine's atomic energy agency has said that the Kremlin's recent plans risk catastrophic failure of nuclear plants' cooling systems. World leaders have also been constantly calling for demilitarization of the Japarija nuclear site, especially after footage of Russian army vehicles inside the plant emerged. Petro Kotin, who is the head of Ukraine's atomic energy company, told The Guardian that Russian engineers have already planned a detailed blueprint for a switch on grounds of emergency planning. If fighting around the nuclear power plant cuts off remaining power connections. In an interview, he said, I'm quoting here, they presented the plan to the workers at the plant and the plant workers presented it to us. The precondition for this plan was heavy damage to all of the lines which connect Japarija nuclear power plant to Ukrainian system. Khotin now fears that Russia's military will purposely target those connections to make the emergency situation a reality. The plant's electrical connections are already in a critical condition, with three of the four main lines connecting it to Ukraine's grid broken during the war. Apart from this, two of the three other backup lines connecting it to the power plant have also been damaged. In the past few weeks, both Russia and Ukraine have accused each other of shelling the site. There's also been growing alarm over Russian management of the nuclear power plant and amounting pressure on Moscow to allow UN inspectors to visit the site. Now for more on this, we're being joined by Dr. Leon Sizelj, President of the European Nuclear Society and Head of Reactor Engineering Division of uh, the Zorzhev Stefan Institute in Slovenia. Thank you so much for joining us on this broadcast. Now, what can you tell us of these plans and the implications of these plans if they are to be implemented? Uh, thank you very much and uh, uh, good afternoon to, to all of you. So, uh, in a way, the, the plan uh, that the Russians will try to reconnect the, the plant to the Russian grid was expected since the beginning in a way so the, the russians control this nuclear power plant since uh, early march so it's about six months uh, the implications the direct implications uh, especially from the from the view of nuclear safety are not really really uh, much different than it was uh, before uh, probably the most tricky part will be the point when the uh, nuclear power plants will have to be shut down because of the reconnecting to the uh, new uh, grid right. and at this stage at this stage there will be let's say less sources of electricity available uh, to cool the nuclear power plants not all of them of course there are other other sources of electricity available in the plant and in the nearby vicinity but uh, it's kind of removing one uh, level of safety among uh, away from maybe five six uh, seven layers of safety all right uh, now if russia does go ahead with these plans how does this affect ukraine in this war also what are some of the possible scenarios that this can result to well uh, if we start with the let's say good news uh, First, so good news is that both Ukrainians and Russians need this electricity, which actually diminish uh, diminish the possibility that the plant will really be damaged some, somewhere in the uh, future. But then, uh, on the other side, of course, uh, it might uh, get endanger the the, the uh, stability of the electric grid in Ukraine and and endanger the supply of electricity in Ukraine. Mm. Ukraine is connected to Europe with the grid, to the rest of Europe, to the Western Europe, European Union. Uh, but of course, also the uh, European Union has problems with electricity because of heavy drought and uh, uh, not very good supply of Russian gas. So it could destabilize the, the electric, electric systems in Ukraine and in the, uh, in the Europe uh, at the same time. Hmm. Uh, and Russians will gain some ele more electricity or the same type of electricity for the uh, southern parts of Ukraine and uh, so the Donbas okay. and the Crimea region. All right, so what would you say are some of the countermeasures that Ukraine can 
adapt or implement at this stage? Uh, probably uh, nothing really. Uh, well, we should be clear that the electricity uh, to the Donbas and uh, Ukraine, to the Crimea region was anyhow supplied through the Ukrainian grid, also from the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant until now. So uh, it's a move of, uh, let's say, it's more power play than, uh, than technical, uh, technical okay. uh, moves. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us on this broadcast with your analysis. Uh, thank you. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.